Who is Mike Johnson, the new Speaker of the House? Yahoo News Johnson, the new Speaker of the House, is a product of conservative evangelicalism and Deep South Re. Publican political culture. Below are your comments. We can only hope next voting cycle will be different. Not that we have Democrats or Republicans or Independents, but that we have smart thinking people whoa. Our king together for the people and not for their ideologies. Well spoken, but quoted a lot of scripture. Danger, Will Robinson! Exclamation mark. Don't forget about the separation of church and state, Mr. Johnson. Do try to re-establish bipartisanship, a foreign concept these days, and don't let the extreme right persuade you to act against the best interests of our B. Put your seat belts on. This a lower profile version of Jim Jordan. Everything will be about the party agenda, especially for the far right. We can only hope the damage is minimized by moderate Republicans crossing over on key votes to keep the far right agenda in check. I don't care what religious faith our leaders purport, or much about positions they may have taken in the past. What I care about is that our leaders are capable of civil discussions and will represent all America. Ands as they conduct themselves in their new position. I will oppose any highly party. Johnson didn't just vote against certifying the 2020 election he wrote case for the Texas AG to over. Turn the results of Pennsylvania and Wisconsin that the Supreme Court dismissed for total lack of foe. Undation. Johnson want a federal abortion ban. Johnson started his acceptance speech talking about. Next news. In Johnson, House Republicans elevate one of their staunchest conservatives. The New York Times. Mike Johnson, the little-known Louisiana Republican seeking to become Speaker, is both a leading L.A. Cetian denier and one of the staunchest religious conservatives in the House. Johnson, a lawyer and former chair of the Conservative Republican Study Committee, played a pivotal role in congressional efforts to overturn the 2020 election. An evangelical Christian, he has voted for a national abortion ban and co-sponsored a 20-week abortee on ban, earning him an A-plus rating from the anti-abortee. Below are your comments. Far too extreme to lead the House, his views far from mainstream of the nation, is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Republicans throw in a no-name novice into a job that involves responsibility. Republicans do not understand responsibility. They are throwing him into the fire to let him burn. This is bad for the country but great for the Democrats because America will not forget the next gov. Earnman shut down circa. American Taliban A large majority of people who were not paying attention are going to have no choice now. It is impossible to deny that the Democrat Party has moved sharply to the extreme left in the past d. Ecade. Just look at what they support and are looking to change now in society. For every action there is an equal and opposite reaction and hopefully the Republicans finally get T. He's spine to fight B. 
Why is it that the loudest boasters of their faith are the worst human beings? Clearly, if one has to announce that they are a person of faith, they aren't. Next news. Trump legal news brief. Judge questions Trump on witness stand, then fines him $10,000 for violating gag order. Yahoo News. Judge Arthur Engeron fines former President Donald Trump another $10,000 Wednesday for violating a G. Ag order he put in place to prevent Trump from disparaging members of his staff. Below are your comments. I think the consensus when he was president was that he couldn't be held liable while he was in office. C.E., not that he couldn't be held liable for something he did or said while in office, once his term was over. Maybe too subtle a distinction for Trump and his lawyers. The law does give the president immunity from certain things that they would carry out during their duties as president. Defamation is not a presidential duty therefore he is not immune from prosecution. The base argument relies upon the president being equivalent to a monarch or emperor who is, a senti ally, the embodiment of the law. The American president is a servant of the people under the Constitution, not their ruler. To reiterate, slandering random citizens is not one of the duties of the presidency. But that he keeps returning to this is an outstanding sign that he knows he's gong to lose. I would rather our elected officials be held to a higher standard, rather a lower one. Also, giving immunity to current and future presidents sets a very scary precedent. Let's not go there. Let's raise the bar. Exclamation mark. Dot. Next news. Republicans seen gaining three U.S. House seats with new North Carolina voting map. Reuters. Reuters. North Carolina's Republican-controlled legislature on Wednesday approved a new congressional map th. That should allow the party to flip at least three Democratic seats in the 2024 election, a major boost. T to Republican chances of maintaining their narrow majority in the U.S. House of Representatives The vote by state lawmakers is not subject under North Carolina law to a veto from Governor Roy Coop. Er, who has joined his fellow Democrats in decrying the new map as a partisan power grab. Below are your comments. The GOP-controlled state legislature redrew a congressional map in 2021 after the census that was he. Obviously tilted toward the GOP and the liberal state Supreme Court struck it down as an illegal partisan gerrymander. But Republicans flipped control of the state Supreme Court in the midterms, and th. This gerrymandering must be stopped, it is wrong that the minority group continues to rule the Gover. Endment. They cheat, they lie and they deny the right of all the people to vote in fair elections. Republicans today are just pure and regulated evil and need to be stopped. Gerrymandering is a tool that GOP evilly uses to disenfranchise its opposition and favor its base. If your candidates cannot win voters through their ideas, then crack and pack districts to ensure th. EY cannot lose. It is how you gain minority rule in otherwise evenly divided states. Next news.
Biden not worried about 2024 election challenges with House Speaker Johnson. Reuters. U.S. President Joe Biden said he was not worried about 2024 election challenges after Republicans on when. Este selected Rep. Mike Johnson as Speaker for the U.S. House of Representatives. Johnson, a conservative with little leadership experience, authored an unsuccessful appeal by 126 Ho. Use Republicans to get the Supreme Court to overturn election results in states that former Republic and President Donald Trump had lost in the 2020 presidential election. Asked if he was concerned a boo. Below are your comments. He shouldn't be worried. Counting the Electoral College votes is done by a joint session and led by the VP. Johnson is just another person in the room at that point. Election is November 2024. The entire House is up for re-election, one-third of the Senate as well as the POTUS. The new Congress is sworn in January 2, before the January 6 electoral procedure. Might be a new speaker by then, a Dem. We'll see how long this one lasts. MAGA still wants to shut down the Gov and impeach the POTUS while our allies are at war. Very MAGA. Very un-American though. Well, there is the Constitution, but then there's also conservatives like Alito or insurrectionist G. Innie Thomas's husband, Fixer Clarence, who seem to be able to invent any legal theory they want in or er to square with the desired outcome, while calling themselves originalists. So no guarantees T. Next news. With plea deals in Georgia Trump case, Fonnie Willis is building momentum. The New York Times. Atlanta. Fonnie Willis, the district attorney of Fulton County, Georgia, had no shortage of doubters when she be. Wrought an ambitious racketeering case in August against former President Donald Trump and 18 of his. Allies. It was too broad, they said, and too complicated, with so many defendants and multiple, Chris Crossin. G plot lines for jurors to follow. But the power of Georgia's racketeering statute in Willis' hands has become apparent over the last s. x days. Her office is riding a wave of momentu. Below are your comments. Jack Smith gets to question Powell and Chesbro and Willis gets to question Meadows. Boy I can see them just adding all the new charges up right now. Right now Judge Cannon is having a fit that there is nothing she can do to stop this. Jury nullification as an affirmative defense is slightly less plausible than insanity. The public evidence all points to these fine members of various bar associations jumped off the brid. GE because Trump asked them to. That situation mirrors the excuses provided by the bulk of the demons found or. The last few months would seem to indicate that D.A. Willis did an even more impressive job of crafting. G. These indictments than was apparent at the start. Fine work. Fonny Willis, like Jack Smith, are seeing to it that justice is done. More power to both of them. Dot. Next news. 
Federal prosecutors urge judge to reinstate Trump gag order, citing comments about ex-chief of staff. Associated Press Federal prosecutors are urging a judge to reinstate a gag order on Donald Trump, citing recent Socha. L Media posts about the former president's chief of staff that they said represented an attempt to I. Influence and intimidate a foreseeable witness in the case. U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin, who is presiding over the federal case charging Trump with plotting to overturn the results of the 2020 election, last week temporarily paused her order barring Trump fro M making inflammatory comments of boo. Below are your comments. Stop the games T is playing. Put him behind bars to shut him up. Keep out on capital work to be done. He is losing it and needs to be confined. It wouldn't surprise me one bit to hear that someone tried to assassinate Mark Meadows on the behest of Trump. Judge, you need to treat Trump exactly like you would treat me. He is definitely out of line and making a mockery of our judicial system. Put the guy in jail. Like everyone else accused of lesser crimes, take away his social media, and give him a binky. Dot. Please start treating him like everyone else is treated and lock him up. He obviously won't comply with court orders. Once he's said something, it can't be unsaid. Someone really is going to die because of him. Next news. Who is Mike Johnson, the newly elected House Speaker? CBS News. Republican Rep. Mike Johnson of Louisiana won a vote Wednesday to become House Speaker, ending a three-week vacancy. Dot. Below are your comments. The fact that the GOP is currently taking its marching orders from a man sitting in a courtroom defa. NDING himself against criminal charges speaks volumes about the party and its priorities. After two years I'm absolutely no proof of election fraud. And the Republicans certainly tried to find it his the next speaker. Can we just pick someone that's not nuts or refuse to work with the other side? Next, he is not acceptable emo. More days wasted by the Republicans and they keep going everyone get ready for a government shutdown just before Thanksgiving. Throughout this whole House Speaker debacle, MAGA Republicans in the House has put forth candidates who should be in jail instead of Congress. Each iteration of Speaker candidates, with the exception of Emmer, is an election denier. They are Trump loyalists. They are J6 insurgents. To the last they. Oh wow. What a humongous misstep by Hakeem and the Democrats. First, playing into Gates' hand and removing a much more amiable speaker, and then not putting up the Republican speaker of their choice. The non-MAGA would have voted present and they could have leveraged this. They cannot be happy a boo. Next news. Former U.S. Representative Mark Walker drops North Carolina gubernatorial bid to run for Congress. Associated PR. S. Just after the North Carolina General Assembly gave final approval Wednesday to a new congressional 
map favoring Republicans, a former congressman announced he is dropping out of the Republican primar. Why for governor to try to win back his seat in the U.S. House. Ex-U.S. Mark Walker, a former Baptist pastor from Greensboro, launched a bid Wednesday to reclaim the district court he had represented on Capitol Hill for six years. I didn't really leave voluntarily, Walker said in an interview with Below are your comments. The district's wants stand, the legislature is not an unlimited and unregulated power. In fact SCOTUS has ruled multiple times against the state regarding districts. However, it is more proof that the white-wing crowd cannot win without cheating. It's also another example that we need to have profe. The domino effect, for better or worse, will awaken the land, one way better than the other. Stridency does not count. It takes determination and a sane brain to move the first few chips. Nothing like gerrymandering to win a seat. No other way to win according to Republicans. Failed policies are coming for UNC. Now that the General Assembly has restored the 6th District to how it's historically been represented. D. Next news. GOP presidential candidates embarrassed by party's speaker saga. NBC News. GOP presidential candidates had a withering assessment of the party's difficulty finding a House B. Acker. Below are your comments. Now the real pressure is on the Republicans. They are in charge of the House of Representatives and the budget. I doubt they will be able to accomplish much without a circus every week. Democrats would do well to keep quiet and let the Republicans continue with their infighting. Oh geez, Johnson made a huge mistake to such a reporter who asked the question about the fact that H. E. voted to cancel millions of voters in 5 H3 2020 election, that was his chance to respond to the rep. Order and explain his reason for trying to overturn the election, now this will. They're embarrassed by this yet they're not embarrassed by their conservative-led insurrection? Pretty sure the hard right is not embarrasses D. That would mean they own the mess and that will never happen. It will always be someone else's fault they failed. It's called the Trump strategy. Lie then deny then blame. The sane side is so busy trying to disprove or justify they never have the GOP presidential candidates embarrassed by party. There, I fixed it. Next news. Representative Mike Johnson elected 56th Speaker of the House, ending weeks of GOP chaos. NBC News. House Republicans elected Louisiana Rep. Mike Johnson, a Donald Trump ally, as Speaker of the House ending weeks of chaos since Kevin McCarth. Why was ousted from the job? Below are your comments. Apparently experience isn't necessary for the speaker job, Sen. Mitt Romney, a Utah Republican. 
We're down to folks who haven't had leadership or chairmanship role, which means they're administrati. On of the house will be a new experience for them. It seems he best reflects Trump in his disdain for truth, love of conspiracy theories, hate, etc. NCE of Trump's morals, ethics, integrity and character. He will be a perfect person for the conservative evangelical Christians who claim to follow the Tiak. Hing and philosophy of Jesus. Trump is the the new Republican House Speaker has stated his intention to enact a federal ban on a woman's right to choose. All those state constitutional amendments will be rendered moot if Republicans succeed. The only true solution to protecting our rights is to vote out every Republican on our ballots, ACR. Dot dot dot. Ending weeks of GOP chaos. Really? Only weeks of chaos? How about, at minimum, 30 years of GOP chaos? Next news. Biden condemns retaliatory attacks by Israeli settlers against Palestinians in the West Bank. Associated Press. President Joe Biden on Wednesday spoke out against retaliatory attacks by Israeli settlers against P. Palestinians in the West Bank in the aftermath of the October 7 Hamas attacks on Israel. Biden said the attacks by extremist settlers amounted to pouring gasoline on the already burning F. Iris in the Middle East since the Hamas attack. Below are your comments. That's the problem with Biden, speaks out of both sides of his mouth. One can only think once back in the States, the people running the country told him what they wanted. Dot. Obedient puppet. Question who is running the country? Is Israel going to hold these settlers accountable? Many times these settlers are not much different than the terrorists they claim is on the Palestinian and side. They refuse to accept the Palestinians have any rights to exist. This is not in any way support for what Hamas did or what Israel is do. IPAC has paid its pet congressman handsomely for their support. As 2.4% of the U.S. population they speak with the volume of a vast majority. They dare to speak out by Congressman Paul Findlay. It makes it very. Next news. Judd Gregg, a former GOP governor and congressman from NH, endorses Nikki Haley in 2024 race. USA 2. Day. Judd Gregg, a longtime Republican leader in New Hampshire, said he is backing Nikki Haley in the 202. For Republican presidential primary. Here's why. Below are your comments. Let's face it and be honest. No one is perfect. We all have our own opinions no matter who we are. But I will say that it is time for a change. We've seen few good men stepping up. And it's clear that Biden, Trump, DeSantis and many of the other so-called men are not worthy of the office. It's Tim. She still has an uphill climb to knock off Trump in the primaries.
Unless Trump's legal woes get to be so grave that he drops out, he is most likely going to be the no. Money in 2024. If Trump does have to drop out, Haley will take the nomination. DeSantis is finished and none of the other candidates. If you vote by who endorses them, you are a fool and dumber than box of rocks. Do their financial, life challenges, family values all directly match your current state of affairs? No? Actually, look at your candidate's past record, and anything else you can find. It is far more telling than wah. I don't think Nikki would make a good president. Next news. White House increases outreach to Muslim and Arab Americans in face of criticism to Israel-Gaza war. Response. NBC News. Inside the White House some aides worried that Biden hadn't shown enough empathy for Palestinian civ. Ilians and a Muslim community facing a torrent of anger. Below are your comments. You want to protest against Netanyahu, I get it. You want to protest illegal settlements, I get it. What I don't get is not blaming Hamas. Muslims and Palestinians should be asking for them to surrender which will end the war. The most reactive president in my lifetime. Every decision he makes is based on which way the political winds are bleep. Hey Democrats care to respond to the latest report from Canary Mission where they confirmed Rashida. Tlaib has extensive fundraising ties to Hamas insiders including working with Hamas activist Salah S. Arsor who co-hosted a 2018 election campaign event. It's funny because when Muslims do something we are supposed to realize all Muslims didn't do it. Yet, when the Muslims that did it suffer repercussions, the rest act like it's happening to all of T. Hem. Which is it? Pandering to get the terrorist supporter vote. A new special grievance group for Democrats. Next news. White House to unveil AI executive order on Monday reports. Reuters. U.S. President Joe Biden's administration is expected to unveil its long-awaited artificial intelligence. Executive order on Monday, according to media reports. The Washington Post, citing several people familiar with the matter, on Wednesday said the order WOU. LD require advanced AI models to undergo assessments before they can be used by federal workers. It would also help ease barriers for highly S bleep workers seeking to immigrate to the United States in order to boost the country's tech. Below are your comments. Highly S bleep workers seeking to immigrate to the United States, in order to boost the country's tech. HNO logical competitiveness, could that be because the U.S. educational system is run by dropouts that care about everything unrelated to education, then education itself, it is a I will be the most dangerous thing to very American citizens' privacy would not trust U.S. government with this in any shape or form. Has Drooler read it yet? White House to unveil AI executive order on Monday reports well that should terrify everyone. Oh great, more edicts from the wannabe dictator. Next news.
Oregon Supreme Court to decide if GOP senators who boycotted legislature can run for re-election. Ass. Oceated Press. The Oregon Supreme Court will decide whether Republican state senators who carried out a record set in GOP walkout during the legislative session this year can run for re-election. The decision, announced Tuesday, means the lawmakers should have clarity before the March 12 deadline. E to file for office, Oregon Public Broadcasting reported. The senators from the minority party are challenging a 2022 voter-approved constitutional amendment that bars state lawmakers from re-election after having 10. Below are your comments. We voted that if you don't want to go to work you don't keep your job. We didn't vote that you get to not show up for work for another session. They are not eligible. The amendment's wording does not preclude that position. But regardless of how the ORSC rules, vote Democrat and get rid of these doublespeak Republicans, a eh? ND send a message to the rest. Go AWOL, and you are gone. Oregon Supreme Court to decide if the will of its citizens matter. There, fixed it for you. What is there to decide? The voters voted on the rules, those are the rules. Next news. Florida orders state universities to disband pro-Palestinian student group, saying it backs Hamas. A. Associated Press. Republican Florida Gov. Ron DeSantis's administration is taking the extraordinary step of ordering state universities to ban a pro-Palestinian student organization from campuses, saying it illegally backs Hamas militants who attacked Israel earlier this month. As Israel's attacks on Gaza have intensified, some college students have expressed solidarity with P. Palestinians, resulting in swift censure from some Jewish academics and even some prospective employ. R.S. Below are your comments. Wow, setting the record for most First Amendment violations by any governor in history. The businesses refusing to hire the students saying this is one thing, thighs are private entities and d not violating the law. The governor doing this is the most clearest violation of the First Amendment you will e. Curris. Why has DeSantis totally ignored the actual Nazis who are running around his state doing actual n. Nazi things? Why do you suppose this is? Dot. When did Florida secede from the U.S.? I mean, how and when did I miss that opportunity to celebrate? Next news. Donald Trump hit with $10,000 fine by NY judge for dangerous flouting of gag order. USA Today. The judge in Donald Trump's real estate fraud trial fined him $10,000 after ruling he violated a gag order in the case for a second time. Below are your comments. Pair it with action. His abuse has no consequences. He will again crowdfund source his predicament in while in jail. Confiscate the fund if he did. He cannot enrich himself for legal violations. 
Former President of the United States is so smart he might end up doing time for a case that carries no jail time. Can't wait for the good trials to start. I think this is the one hitting him the hardest. It's about money. The only sanction that will be effective is prison. Money is nothing to him. Donald Trump does not believe a judge will send him to jail. He really thinks he is above such action. Sanction him $5,000 and he will raise $100,000 from poor folks. Sanction him $10,000 and he will raise $200,000. Before you give someone 30 days, you have to have tried every other reasonable effort. But a judge controls their court. Unless they let others con. Next news. Pro-Israel resolution is new U.S. House leaders' first act. Reuters. Washington. Reuters. Speaker Mike Johnson called up a resolution supporting Israel in his first action as leader of the U.S. House of Representatives on Wednesday, after a three-week leadership vacuum that left the Republican-led chamber unable to respond to the Middle East crisis. The first bill I'm going to bring to this floor in a little while will be in support of our dear Fry. End Israel and we are overdue in getting that done, Johnson said as he accepted the speakership. The House back. Below are your comments. Next up the price of eggs is too high bill that does nothing about prices but says we are against it. Dot. The performative politics of the right is off to a great start. Watch what the new speaker does with military assistance for Ukraine. Will he put it up for a vote or is he totally subservient to the Putin-pushing wing of the Republica? And base? When did Republicans begin to think that their going red was politically attractive? Reminds me of those support our troops stickers on cars. It makes you look good without actually doing anything. So, nothing for America. Next news. Who is Mike Johnson, the new Republican U.S. House Speaker? Reuters. U.S. Representative Mike Johnson has been elected by his fellow Republicans to serve as Speaker of the Ho. Use of Representatives, after three weeks of turmoil and three failed candidates. Johnson, 51, was born in Shreveport, Louisiana's third largest city, the oldest of four siblings and the son of a firefighter who was badly burned and disabled in the line of duty. Prior to Congress, Johnson was a lawyer who mainly worked on religious freedom issues, successfully defending Louisiana's same sex. Below are your comments. He pretty much opposes everything that a majority of Americans approve of. Abortion, same-sex marriage, funding Ukraine, equal rights, birth control. How did we get here? How can he be a good Christian and support Trump? McCarthy lasted nine months as speaker, even with all his deals. Can Johnson go the distance? 
we'll just have to see, but I don't see him still being speaker in 2025. Just another Fred Dumb Caucus, Trump Lackey. Nothing will get done, just the usual conservative squawking to divert from important things that nay. Ed to be done. Next news. White House wants $56 billion from Congress for disaster relief, child care and high-speed internet. Associated Press. The White House is asking lawmakers for nearly $56 billion in emergency spending to help the government and respond to natural disasters, shore up funding for child care centers and keep high-speed intern at running for low-income families. Outlining President Joe Biden's domestic priorities as Congress simultaneously weighs sending Billio NS for conflicts abroad. The largest portion of the supplemental funding request, sent to Capitol Hill on Wednesday, includes more than $23 billion for disaster R. Below are your comments. $23 billion for United States disaster but over $100 billion for Ucr. Anya, Iariel. Biden spent the FEMA budget on illegal immigrants. Why didn't the author of the article mention that? Another supplemental, non-budget, addition to the national debt. Thanks, Joe. No more money for Biden. Let him pay for it out of his money he got from our enemies. Shouldn't that be covered under the wrongly named Inflation Reduction Act? Or is all that money gone to companies? Next news. North Carolina Republicans put exclamation mark on pivotal annual session with redistricting maps. A. Associated Press. The North Carolina General Assembly gave final approval Wednesday to new redistricting maps poised t. o. empower the state GOP for years to come. Passage of the maps also marks a final achievement for Republican leaders in this year's annual sess. Ion that saw their priorities on abortion, LGBTQ+, and gun rights, voting rights and education become law, and in turn eroded Democratic Gov. Roy Cooper's powers. Lawmakers in the ninth largest U.S. State enacted new boundary lines for State House and Senna. Below are your comments. It is simply beyond rational that a party that comes in third in registered voters, behind Democrats, the highest number, and unaffiliated, the second highest, hold veto-proof majorities in both state houses. It's not rational because it's not ethical nor fair. But then the Republicans can't be ratty. Cheating means you know you aren't representing the will of the people. Conservative do not believe in democracy. Amazing how GOP has to cheat to win. Next news. House Republicans have a multi-million dollar fundraising problem with their newest speaker. Business. Insider. Speaker Mike Johnson has never brought in more than $1.3 million in contributions in any given elect. Ion cycle. That could mean trouble for the GOP. Below are your comments. That's not Mike Johnson's worst problem. 
The fact that he is a hair on fire anti abortionist and pseudo religious zealot is his biggest probal. M. He won't be able to work towards passing any legislation that will make the Republican Party more po. Pooler with the majority of American citizens, nor make. That's nothing compared to the multi billion dollar GOP fundraising problem that is the passing of. Sheldon Adelson. There's no replacing him and his fundraising capabilities. MAGA trash circus removal requires two flushes. It's a long way to MAGA Lago. It's like putting a private in charge of the army company. When you choose fringe lunatics that deny reality and live in a hateful and controlling mentality, why? Oh you aren't going to have much support financial or political. Next news. White House dismissive of Rep. Dean Phillips' long-shot Democratic primary bid. NBC News. President Joe Biden's approach to any challenges to his re-election bid is publicly indifferent and privately dismissive. Below are your comments. More like America is dismissive of Biden's bid for re-election. Dino Phillips is deserving of all the dismissal anyone can muster. His constituents need to replace him with a real Democrat at the earliest possible moment. Too busy, pure comedy, unless of course getting lost on stage or wandering aimlessly is now consider. Ed Busy. Who do they think they're fooling? Everyone who doesn't close their eyes and ears knows he's lost at. C. Beyond embarrassing trying to sell this nonsense. Well, the Democratic Party has done everything to negate any competition for the upcoming 2024 Prezi. Dential election despite having a president who hardly works. Loves being on vacation in Delaware. Can't do the job at this point in time either mentally or physically and is the can't be 100% support if he is running for POTUS. Next news. Exclusive Biden set to speak with China's top diplomat Wang Yi on Friday, sources say. Reuters. President Joe Biden is expected to speak with Wang Yi when China's top diplomat visits the White Hu. Say this week, according to two U.S. officials familiar with planning for the visit. Wang, who is set to meet Biden's national security adviser Jake Sullivan, at the White House on Frid. I could see Biden in person at that time, according to one of the people. The White House declined to comment. Below are your comments. I hope President Biden is fully aware at this point that the United States is engaged in a new cold war with China. The level of Chinese espionage targeting our military and employing personnel of our own forces is you. Unprecedented, in addition to their continuing industrial espionage. China does not R. Please just put him back in his basement and tell him to be quiet and sit down. Before he starts another war. Grifter Joe needs a photo op for campaign. Good maybe the Chinese can understand his rambling old rants. Next news. Trump storms out of his civil fraud trial after facing off with foe Michael Cohen. NBC News 
Trump was called to testify for the first time in the New York trial and was fined $10,000 for Viola. Ting his gag order again. Below are your comments. Somebody please tell Donald that he already lost. The company falsely filed various legal documents. With bad numbers. This court is determining the damages, penalties. It's not Cohen versus Trump. Trump was humiliated by being directed to testify and being told to his face he was lying and that I. T would cost him $10,000. Trump's head is going to explode when he hears what the big number is at the end of this. Many people say Princess Mango randomly waved his tiny little hands and played his trademark air ACC. Ordian too. Very cute. Isn't this just a process to determine Trump's punishment for what he's already been found guilty of? Question mark. Dot. His tantrums are funny now. If he's elected, they will not be funny. It would be four years of tantrums by the most powerful officeholder in the world. Next news. White House presses for money to prevent opioid deaths as congressional dysfunction stymies aid. NBC News. The Biden administration is asking Congress for $1.55 billion to address illicit fentanyl that has D. Riven overdose deaths in the United States. Below are your comments. This admin through its DIA and FDA policy changes have driven millions of American patients to the S. Treats to get the pain relief they require. Burning it at both ends will result in even more illicit drug use. This headline from the news says it all. Biden caused this by having a wide open southern border, th. E cartels are making more money with Biden in charge. Biden canceled the remain in Mexico policy, a. Eh? Andy the floodgates of illegals, and drugs came pouring in, case closed. What's another 155 billion to Joe? He doesn't even know what that means. Make it 100 trillion ya j. Oe. Dot and send every taxpayer 200 trillion. Dot you mo. Dot ran. How about closing the border to cut the flow of illegal drugs, gang members, terrorists and sex traff? FIC. Next news. Election denier. Climate skeptic, anti abortion. Seven beliefs of new U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson. The Guardian. The relatively little known Louisiana Republican has been thrust into the spotlight and the attentio. N has fallen on his extreme beliefs. Below are your comments. Is that all? Why do we need enemies when we have this guy running Congress? And too bad he doesn't have any covenant feelings towards our Constitution. His faith in our Constitution is not that strong apparently. He must think they're just suggestions? This is the best we can do folks. This is what we have to offer. It's what our system produces. Garbage in, garbage out. If you have selfish, ignorant citizens, you're going to get selfish, ignorant leaders. Term limits ain't going to do any good. You're just going to end up with a brand new bunch. 
What? We expected the GOP to find someone living in this century. Translation. He's deplorable and that makes him the perfect pick for the dumpster fire that is the GOP. Next news. Who is Mike Johnson? New House Speaker is a strong Trump ally and a quiet force among Republicans. Associated Press Colleagues say the deeply religious Louisiana Republican who calls himself a servant will be a STE 80 hand and give them a fresh start. Many hope they will finally be able to move past the seemingly intractable divisions within their co. N. Ference that have felled every House GOP leader in the past decade. Below are your comments. I really hate to break it to Republicans that claim they follow Jesus. Read the Gospel. Dot. Jesus is liberal, woke, and most likely socialist. With book bans, 1RST amendment lawsuits, prejudices, discrimination and unconstitutionalities being flavor of the decade, I would in no way miss any upcoming elections. The conservative Supreme Court are moving further and further to the right. I could live with things as they. But Ove. Just when I though moderate Republicans were holding the line for the grand old party, they fold AGA into the extremists. Next news. Trump called to the stand in gag order dispute, fined $10,000, CBS News. Former President Donald Trump briefly testified under oath Wednesday in his New York civil fraud trial. Al, and the judge imposed a $10,000 fine. Below are your comments. Unfortunately, I've been thinking about Trump again. About his business failures, his marital failures, his professional, interpersonal failures, his inu. Murable lies, exaggerations, and his clear lack of morality, empathy and civility. With all that said, what bothers me the most, aside from him? I would expect $15,000 next time. If it was about Cohen, he was trying to influence a witness or trying to get his minions to harass H. I am, or worse. Just do it already. Any other civilian, found of the same infractions, would have been in jail by now. I agree with DJT, the DOJ is weaponized and interfering with the election. After 91 charges and multiple violations of the judge's orders, DJT is still walking around free. Dot. The boy can't play by the rules, lock him up. Dot. Next news. Biden weighs in on Mike Johnson, new Speaker of the House elected after weeks of chaos. USA Today. President Biden was asked Wednesday if he's concerned newly elected House Speaker Mike Johnson would. Try to overturn 2024 election if Biden wins. Below are your comments. The chasm of differences between President Biden and former President Trump is so tremendous I can't believe sometimes they are in the same country or world. You can call Biden old and complain about him for whatever reasons, but he is smart, professionally, and empathetically devoted to the Amer. Biden is an optimist, and he worked well with Republicans when he was in the Senate. He sees the best in people, but some people don't have a best. 
Even though we have real disagreements about important issues, Biden said, there should be mutual effort to find common ground wherever we can. And that, Republicans, is how a real leader speaks. Dot. A gracious response. Something someone would expect from a president. Next news. Mark Meadows cooperating with special counsel in 2020 election case. CBS News. Sources close to former President Donald Trump tell CBS News that Mark Meadows is cooperating with S. Special Counsel Jack Smith in the election interference case. Below are your comments. Meadows probably saw this day coming and kept files, memos, and recordings of everything. He wanted his trial moved to the federal courts so that he would only have to make one plea deal. I love Trump's preemptive truth social comment. He tells on himself, as always, countering everything he knows Meadows can say. Just like knowing ahead of time that things are gonna be rigged. Amazing. And he isn't the leading nominee for just policy reasons people still believe everything this Charl. Dot dot. Just wondering what the MAGA cult is screaming about. They're very difficult to understand while babbling. It would be great if this ended up bringing Clarence Thomas down too. Lock him up. Quote ellipsis dot. Next news. Mike Johnson played a key role in efforts to overturn 2020 election. NBC News. Mike Johnson, the recently elected House Speaker, played a major role in the Jan. Six effort to overturn the 2020 election after Donald Trump's loss. Below are your comments. Election, November 2024. If the House remains GOP, then the House rejects a valid election. If the Dem regain the House, then let freedom ring, and the votes be counted in all states, not just the ones Trump wants. The United States Congress has a very large cohort of Trump failed auto coup co conspirators. This is the third person nominated to be speaker by the GOP conference who objected to the Biden Har Riss Electoral College results. The one who finally was elected speaker was removed for keeping American. An election denier as House Speaker. The Republican Party can do better. They must do better. Or simply abdicate all legislative responsibility. Next news. Biden avoids taking up the mantle of a wartime president. NBC News. In the shadow of the attacks in Israel, in which Hamas bleep and kidnapped Americans, President Joe Biden is trying to lower the temperature. Below are your comments. Whoever is pulling the strings knows to keep Biden as far away as possible from anything associated with this conflict. Crazy Joe was a lifeguard and played football and did everything in his power to avoid military serve. Ice as a young man, therefore how can he even be considered as the commander-in-chief of the most powerful military?
makes no sense. America is not at war yet, so why is this media attempting to indicate we are? Joe, it's hard to run for the wars you and your administration have enabled to happen. Dot. The FBI had over 40 confidential human sources that relayed information concerning Joe Biden, James Biden, and Hunter Biden. Next news. Biden admin pushes for pause in Israeli military campaign in Gaza. NBC News. Amid increasingly dire conditions in Gaza, the Biden administration is now urging Israel to pause its military campaign to let in more humanitarian aid. Below are your comments. Cut diplomatic relation with the criminals. Biden needs to stay out of the way and keep in his lane. All Arab governments aligned with the U.S. and have either peace treaty with Israel or normalized Rela. Tion with it are condemning the Israeli bombing campaign against besieged and helpless civilians in Gaza. This reckless Israeli response goes beyond self-defense and risk stoking anger and rage among. Biden needs to go on pause. He did nothing about Palestine until the issue was forced on him. Barack did nothing either. We've become puppets of the Israelis. Next news. Trump's NY civil and criminal cases collide with Michael Cohen on the stand. CBS News. Michael Cohen testified for a second day in former President Donald Trump's civil fraud trial in New York. Below are your comments. The judge is the one in control in a courtroom. 45 can't stand that. Seems his lawyers are having a hard time accepting this as well. Michael Cohen is sticking it to Trump. Now's the time for him to let Trump have for leaving him in jail. Trump never gave Michael Cohen a pardon. Come on Trumpy. Don't let your Trumpers down. Make it worse for yourself. Come on. Dot. Find Trump the maximum allowed. Kick his businesses out of NY, get it over with. The judge let Trump and his two cent lawyers, who is in control of the court. He embarrassed Trump and the two cent lawyers today. Awesome! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Exclamation mark! Dot. Next news. White House seeks funds for internet subsidies, Chinese equipment removal. Reuters. Washington. Reuters. The White House is asking Congress for $6 billion for a government broadband internet subsidy project. Amused by 21 million American households that is set to run out of money next year. The Federal Communications Commission, FCC, previously said removing the equipment, which it says poses national security risks, would cost $4.90. 8 billion. Congress has only approved $1.9 billion. Below are your comments. Some of our federal government officials seem to have a lot of mega-rich friends as benefactors. Wasteful spending. Just make everything free, so people don't have to work anymore. Dot. One internet, pay for it yourself.
Internet isn't a necessity to get by. Next news. Representative Jamal Bowman charged with pulling fire alarm in house building. Huff Post. The New York Democrat said he was rushing to make a vote when he pulled the alarm, thinking a WOU. LD unlock a locked door. Below are your comments. The guy's guilty and being charged. That's what's supposed to happen. Herm so Republicans wanted to crash the government into the ground. They had the votes to do so. This guy pulled the fire alarm and delays the vote so that other Democrat ATS can convince a few Republicans at the last moment to turn the ship before smashing head first in to an iceberg, and they want to. Bull! Pulling a fire alarm when there's no emergency is a felony! Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark dot. What this man child did is as plain as day. Lucky for him he's not a Republican. Next news. With Ukraine and Israel looming, Australian PM arrives in Washington to meet Biden. NBC News President Joe Biden welcomed Australia's Prime Minister Anthony Albanese to the White House for a V. Sit on Wednesday, which will include a bilateral meeting, joint press conference and a state dinner. Dot. Below are your comments. Brandon needs a nap. Hey, I got an idea. While you're here let's have a party, I mean nothing has been going on the last few years. Breaking. Ghislaine Maxwell plans to release the names of eight high-classified individuals who slept with under a G. E-girls. Joe Biden had to get a new bag man, so Newsom meets with Xi Jinping to pick up his 10% in gold bars. Think old Joe can stay awake long enough to splutter his name? Next news. He's lost the zip on his fastball, DeSantis ramps up Trump attacks on campaign trail. USA Today. Ron DeSantis launched new attacks against former President Donald Trump, attempting to distinguish H. His campaign as more forward-looking. Below are your comments. Hired his buddy to run new college and gave him twice the salary of the previous guy, with Opportuna. Ties to make a lot more. Meanwhile new colleges ranking with US News and World Report dropped 50 positions. DeSantis is a phony whose entire campaign is to create false flag social issues where none had previ. A slee existed. He's always thrown a wiffle ball. He's lost the zip on his fastball, DeSantis. This from someone who never had one in the first place. Next news. NBC News to host the third Republican presidential primary debate. NBC News. The next Republican debate will be hosted by NBC News. The event will take place at Adrian Arsht Center for the Performing Arts of Miami-Dade County in F. Florida. Below are your comments. Americans need to watch because debates are the only way Americans can see the real candidates in action. Debates are the only time their speechwriters can't tell candidates what to say. 
Christie is the one that stood out as a possible on the last two debates. The rest lost their cool. Current GOP candidate debates. Without Trump equals a dumpster fire. With Trump equals a five alarm dumpster fire. In either case, a dumpster fire. Dot. Next news. Meet Representative Mike Johnson, the new Speaker of the House who introduced the national version of Florida's Don't Say Gay law and played a key role in Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Busin, SS Insider The mild-mannered Louisiana evangelical was the GOP's fourth Speaker nominee in three weeks, and he won wit. H. Unanimous support from Republicans. Below are your comments. This guy is just more of the MAGA same. What a sad time for the American people. Floating another baby Ruth. I would like to hear from him that Biden legitimately won the presidency in the 2020 election. I would love to hear him say he was wrong to question the legitimacy of that win. I do not expect either. Next news. Mike Johnson elected House Speaker, ending three weeks of GOP chaos. HuffPost. The relatively unknown Louisiana Republican had fewer enemies than the previous GOP speaker candidate. S. Below are your comments. Now they can get back to the regular GOP brand chaos. Dot. It's been a lot longer than three weeks, and the chaos isn't about to stop. Blue Tsunami 2024! Exclamation mark. Dot. He's a very humble election denier. How nice. Easy fix. Vote even if you don't feel like it, or have never voted before. Dot get at it smiley face. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.